Okay guys, hopefully this is our last video and we're just gonna, as I said, we're gonna create a second column here um, that just says the number, uh, sort of who's done the most posts. It's just a basic filter that we can have a quick look over. Um, and lastly, um, as well as that, there are two other, or three other things I wanna tidy up really quickly. And what I think I'll do is I'll, I'll do them first. So first of all, at this point in time, when we create a new user, it still doesn't associate the new user with a profile. So we need to do that. So to do that, um, we need to go into our reviews and views file, okay? And we need to go to where we have registration. So under registration, where we have username. Um, did we import profile here? We haven't done that yet. We'll do that in just a moment. So what we're gonna say is, um, when we say the form is valid and we say save form, um, we also want to create a user. So we're going to say profile, capital P, because we're loading um, profile objects. So we're saying profile dot objects dot create, create, um, and we're going to say profile equals user. So in other words, what's going to happen here is um, whenever a registration has happened and a new user signs up, it also automatically creates a new profile with the new user. Okay, and the user, we know the user is here because we've said the user is whatever the form has been saved as. So we create a profile with that user. So it creates that relationship and they're now, now tied together. So that should be that, and we'll test it out in just a moment. Um, however, at the top of the page, I don't think I've loaded profiles yet. So let's put that in the space. We're going to say from um, profiles dot models import profile. So that takes us to the profiles app, and it loads the models there, which has the profile model inside it. Okay, that's one. The next thing is, is in our in our profiles page, what we seem to have is a number of reviews, okay? And we want that to automatically increment because if you remember, I think it was in one of the last videos, when um, I had to enter how many reviews um, this particular user had, I had to enter it manually in the admin side and we don't want that. We want that to automatically update every time someone submits a new post. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to edit this submit review form um, view so that we also import the um, the author from the profile and then we increment to the profile the, um, the number of reviews that have been submitted. So at the top of a request here, so inside here we've got our form and what we'll do is we'll just stick this straight under the form before our, before our if statement. We're going to say author equals. I'm going to say get object or 404, and we want to say from the profile. Load the profile, and the primary key for the profile is going to be request dot user dot id. Um, so that should be fine. Um, so that gets us our author. And then what we want to say over here is here we said review the author request. So we want to say author dot um, number of reviews plus equals one. So that increments the number of reviews by one. And then after we save the review, we want to say author, whoops, dot save. So now we've saved our um, number of reviews updated as well. So even though we are writing to a different table, this time we're not create we're not adding a form for that. We're sort of just doing it in the background, okay? Um, and that should be that. And one thing we're missing as well, and we didn't do it last time. Uh, we should do it now is we should say login 
underscore required and we'll leave it at that underscore required so that means then um, automatically it should send the user to a login page if they're not and they try to submit a review okay so let's save that um, and let's we'll test it out in a moment okay it says oh, okay again top of the page I haven't defined it obviously so let's do that um, um, where's the best place to put it let's put it here let's put my decorator there so we're going to say from um, Django dot contrib dot off dot decorators decorators import login underscore required okay I think that covers everything that we needed to have so let's save that and we seem to be loaded up all right um, let's test that first okay so let's test that so let's say let's log out okay let's start by creating a new user so let's say register and we'll say email address is I don't know John at Johnson John at Johnson dot com and username will be Johnson and first name will be John last name will be Johnson these are really original names and the password is going to be one two three four five six seven eight one two three four five six seven eight actually you probably won't let me so I might as well just give it something decent okay <laughs> Okay, let's create the account. Oh, where have we gone wrong? And I've got an unexpected argument profile. Where's that? Okay, so um, actually, there's two problems here, um, which I've managed to iron out, and then I'll just show you what I've done here. So the first one is that um, I'm trying to assign a new um, record in the profile table so that links up and creates a relationship between the user and the profiles and I've tried to do it as profile but my um, if I go back to my profiles models actually the name I should have been trying to attach the field to should have been author so I've changed that to author and hopefully that's that um, that should that should correct that mistake um, and then and the other issue was in the if we go to reviews and models, the other problem is that, oh no, sorry, it would have been profiles now. In the profiles models, the other problem is that I didn't set a default value. So I need to say default value equals zero so that a user starts with zero reviews to begin with. So now that we've done that, um, I need to, obviously I've made a change to my table. So I need to make migrations again migrate and then so make migration then migrate and then let's run our server hopefully that's all good and if we go back here and refresh um, let's start off by trying to create that user again so it was Johnson thank God it's auto field and let's give it a password Oh, okay obviously I've created that user and not deleted him now so let's create another one let's create I don't know Samson Sam Sam I'm gonna say Samson Sam 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 <laughs> um, yeah okay whatever <laughs> last name Samson let's give him a password And let's create a user. What? Oh, in the email address. Okay, so samson at gmail.com. Right. It looks like it's created it because there are no errors. So it's taking us back to the login page. Let's go to the admin. Oops. And let's log in as a super user so we can see if that has worked. Oh, that's the wrong password. I forgot. I did a stupid easy one. There we are. Okay, so if we go to users, 
we do have Johnson and we do have Samson as well. And what we should have then is we should on the profiles, we've also got Johnson and Samson. So uh, Samson then you can see is related. There's that relationship between um, the other, the user attached and he's got no reviews. So let's do something else. All right, let's log back out here. Let's go back to the home page. Let's log in as Samson. Samson and um, what's the password? Here we are. Okay, and let's submit a review of Samson. Oh no, what now? Okay, I think I know what's happened here. Um, it's probably because I didn't start the database with an empty database. And what it's doing is um, when I'm trying to create a new um, when I'm trying to create a new review, if we go to our views here, it's looking at um, submit review, okay, and it's trying to find an author with the same primary key as the user ID. The problem is though, is we've had um, a few users deleted before we created um, a profile um, with the tries that we had. So I think if I was to start with a clean slate, then everyone would be the same. So if I was to do that, obviously I lose I lose all the films in the database here, but then that we don't have that same mistake where um, it doesn't marry up. Um, and I, I and this is the reason why I, I deleted all my records earlier. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same thing. Um, so let's do that. Let's click on Control C to delete. Um, and I think the the way I'm going to do it this time is I'm going to go to my SQL database and I'm literally just going to delete it. No big deal. Okay, so let's delete that. Move to a trash. And the next thing then is in my um, migrations for reviews, look, here's all my migrations. Apart from the init initial, the init pi, I'm going to delete my migrations as well. Um, so that's in my reviews app and we don't have that in the programming one. But if we go to our profiles, um, there's my profiles up. Let's go to migrations and let's do exactly the same thing. So I'm just going to delete every single migration that's happened. Okay, so now what should happen is I should start this program with a completely fresh slate. So let's try that again. Let's go to run server. Now, if I try to log in, it probably won't allow me to log in now. Well, there's no such session is basically saying. Let's refresh. Oh God, no such table, no such, oh, well, oh, maybe I have to, maybe I should do a migration first. So before I try to run it, let's go to my, make migrations. Okay. So it looks to me at the moment like it's created a model for reviews and it's created a model for profiles and it looks like the initial migration. Yeah. So. Now let's migrate. It will create all our tables all over again. And this also means that we have no reviews. We've got no users. Um, so let's try this. Um, let's say manage.py create super user. Because I don't think I have one now. And it was Mr. Muller. And the email address was, I don't know, Mr. Muller at someone.com password let's give you a password all right so now we've got ourselves a super user let's try run that server one more time okay hopefully there's no problems there we are so we've got a blank web page we've got no reviews nothing comes up let's log in as Mr. Muller. Cool, All right? So let's create our first. Oh, let's check something first. Let's go to admin. And if we go to users, we should have one user. And if we go to profiles, oh, we've got no created profile. Uh oh, oh. right. That's easy. And the reason being is because we created our super user um, 
using the back end. So number of views zero. Um, let's go with fresh prints again. And we don't need a profile picture for now. All right, cool. So we got that. We got that going. Um, now let's try to let's log out and let's try register and let's try Johnson username Johnson password. Let's give you a password. Okay, we seem to be going. Let's try login as Johnson and password. Okay, so so far so good. Let's try create a form. Did we get this far last time? I don't think we did. So um, that's good. Real Tenenbaums happens to be there, so I'll borrow that as well. Uh, there's your reference. And let's borrow your review. Nine stars. Great film. Um, let's give you nine stars as well. And let's put the image in. Um, well, I don't have the image. Let's just take that one. Doesn't matter. Okay, cool. So it's worked. Okay, I know the image is wrong, but that's fine. So what we can see so far is we know that it's worked. We can click on the user and everything seems to be working because you can see now that I've got number of reviews up by one as well. So Johnson would have started with zero. Now he has one. Um, can we edit his profile? Let's try that. Um, let's try give him a picture. Um, so let's have your picture as that because you really love that film I know. Oh, 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 okay. So, okay. So what we should say is required is null so that we don't have to have an Insta handle if we don't want to. Let's send you to Fresh Prince as well. Oh, sugar, wait, 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 wait. Oh, that's cool. Oh, let's do that again. There we are. Update. Cool. So your profile picture is cool. Um, and he's got his Insta handle up. That's all good. All right. So at this point in time, everything's working. Um, and let's try speed this up now. We just want to go to the last thing we said we were going to do. Um, no, actually, I've got another idea. So two things. Um, what I want to add now is, like I said, I want to go to where's my templates. No, where are we? Too many folders open. Um, not that one. It's this one. Go to templates, reviews, homepage. Okay, now, like I said, what I was going to do was I wanted to create um, two separate columns. Or, yeah. Um, yeah, so let's do this. We did this once already. I'm just going to borrow the same bootstrap page where instead of table we're going to go to layout and i'm literally going to board the same thing again this time i'm not going to make the same mistakes grid that will do we'll borrow that container and we'll stick that there in fact i don't need container because i've already got that my content's already in a container and I'm going to say I don't need a third column, so I'll get rid of that. And I'm saying that this here will go inside column one, like that. Um, that looks okay, I think. And let's give that one, let's space that one out. So it's space of nine. And this one will do free um, so if I just save that quickly and have a look just move that forward a tiny bit e yeah that looks fine if I only paste it in half yes I have now I've gone from there Let's undo that for a second. Yeah. Oh, I only cut. I didn't. I copied and cut. 
so that goes in there boom and then in the, let's just have, see how that looks so if we go back to our home page and refresh it looks really squashed let's see if we can handle that and that's probably happened because we've said that this one let's do that to nine and let's do this one to three and have another look that's looking better okay so we're going to have three of those one two three and then we'll have the final column where we're going to have our users listed out so what we'll do just like before is we'll go and we'll go to tables again so we'll go to components no it'll be on the layout grid grid there we are grid no it's not it is on the components we're going to say tables content found you okay there we are um, we'll borrow that again and we'll put it here let's delete that and let's create some space so that we're not confused and let's take all of that and nest it correctly there we are okay so as always we don't need that first scope and we'll say um, user and we'll say number of posts or number of reviews number of reviews will do and we'll get rid of that and then from this one we only need this row so we'll get rid of the other rows and just like before we're going to put it into a for loop so we'll say for um, number of reviews in number oh, actually you know what yeah let's say no reviews and then we'll say n4 N4 and let's get rid of a scope and we only needed two columns so we get rid of that third one as well and that now let's start looking at what we're going to do so we go to views and um, and in our views we need to go to our home and here where we've loaded up our reviews um, that's the actual images and the, the way it's laid out in cards we also want to say reviewers so let's say reviewers equals um, profile dot objects so we load all the objects on the profile as well um, and then we're just going to pass that through as context so we're going to say reviewers dot let's put that let's copy that that in quotes so that's now passed through that's really all we need from here so we can shut that we can close that for a moment if we go back to home we actually said our for loop was going to be for number of reviews let's you know let's leave that for simply let's say rev in reviewers for rev in reviewers what we're going to say is rev I must I'm forgetting the quotes the um double brackets we're going to say rev dot um, what is this name of review let's go back to the models it wasn't that one it was that one number of reviews so actually that should be author author and then this one should be rev dot number of reviews okay so that there should give us a list of top reviewers um let's see in fact there's something else we're leaving out here isn't there um let's try that first let's go back to review and let's refresh oh no manage object is not iterable so which one is that in mm hmm And I'm wondering if that's happening because of the fact that we 
probably have some objects um, that have zero zero reviews and so maybe that's causing an issue so let's bring in reviewers again reviewers equals um, profile dot objects dot filter um, filter and let's filter it by author so we just load up what we need to and we're going to say number of reviews and then greater than or equal to equals one okay so let me quickly explain this hopefully it works this is a way of filtering in Django so what we're saying here is that um, we're looking at all profile objects from reviewers and we're saying um, filter the author and then we need a double underscore so we're saying what to filter by and then we're saying filter by that which is basically the number of reviews and then again we need another double underscore which is just the way this is all in the Django documentation and we're saying this is the this is a syntax for greater than or equal to one so basically no one with zero should show up let's um, run that again will it make a difference oh got field invalid lookup number of reviews did I do that wrong okay my bad I've got it gosh so it's under the home where I've said number of reviews for review and reviewers I'm not saying all and I think that makes a difference now so um, what we're saying is that should be fine okay and to fix the current error I can see what I've done here is I've tried to um, filter the author and the number of reviews it doesn't make sense really so the logic wasn't correct so really if I filtered number of reviews greater than zero or I could say greater than equal to one as I had originally done then what that would do is that would automatically filter out any authors that um, don't meet that criteria anyway so let's get rid of that as well we don't need that there um, and then if we go here and we refresh that should work just fine okay and what we want to do as well is we want to sort so the next thing then is to quickly sort and and do it by the biggest or smallest and what we'll try and do is we'll try to chain that by saying order underscore by and then what we're going to say is we want to say by number of reviews so we'll take that and we'll add that there and the fact that we put the minus means it's in reverse order so let's hit enter save refresh and how stupid of me <laughs> I won't be able to tell until I add some more records so I'll do that and uh, I'll, I'll be back in a sec okay so what I've done very quickly is I've just added some more reviews um, and I've sort of layered it so there's three two one and it puts it in order for me automatically so it's, it's saying basically who's um, who's done most reviews um, and everything seems to be working fine so what's left is kind of one thing that I had in mind and there's probably other things I just can't remember but when I um, click on a page and it gives me details of um, the film what I'd also like to do is have the critics review not just as a number so I've got IMDB right in there um, and I've got all for review oh which I haven't got actually yes let's, let's fix that as well but also what I'd like is a bit like IMDB I want like how many stars they had next to the name of the reviewer so to do that um, what we're gonna do um, okay so what I'm gonna do is from get emoji it, obviously there's probably better ways of doing this and what I should probably do is um, I should use a uh, what's that thing let's just copy that um, I should use a thingy code um, what do you call it Unicode but I'm not um, and this should work just fine so I'm not going to kill myself trying to work that out right now uh, I'm just going to scroll down to the review page where we gather information about our reviews 
and I'm going to stick this underneath the response. Let's call it stars. And I'm going to say stars equals, um, let's make a small calculation, critic, critic R, um, multiplied by star. Um, oh, and I should put that in quotes like that. Um, and then what I should do is just take that and just pass that as a context item. So that should be that. So let's save that. Let's go to our review page, film review. And then what I want to do is, well, we've got author review, blah, 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 blah. Um, let's put the stars there. So let's pass that in as stars. Okay, there was that. And I also said that the review didn't appear. Where was it? All for critic. Oh, it didn't appear. Why is that? Oh, I see. I think it's because I forgot to put it here. So that won't work either. Critic. Oh, so critic review. Let's take that there. Oops. Critic review is equal to with our models not those models it should be these ones critic r should be review dot critic r okay oh no it should be review dot critic r so what i've now got to do is also pass that as a context item. Let's give that a go. So let's go back to our page, refresh. So we've got the critics review there and how many stars they awarded the film appears there as well. So that kind of, I don't know, makes me a bit happier. It looks like I could now say I believe that I'm done with what I was trying to set out to do. Um, and that's my basic Django page. So, you know, I've tried to add some different types of functionality to it to showcase what Django can do. Um, and, you know, what we can see here is we can, you know, we can take data, we can sort it, we can present data in different ways. Um, you know, we can create users that log in, log out, and we can create prof profile pages for each of our users, which is quite interesting. Um, so that's it really any questions please add your comments below and i'll see if i can help thank you for watching